Alright y'all, so today we are in sunny Southern California. As you can see, it's beautiful weather out here. But anyway, we got a very special episode today. We got my boy Johnny, aka E60 Daddy, aka Sequoia Daddy, out here with not one but two rigs. We got his Sequoia first gen and also E60 BMW. So let's go check it out. Yo, 60, Yo, what's up, man? What's good, bro? What's cracking? Good. Dude, man, good, good. How are you doing? Doing, chilling, you know. Wet outside. It's a little we bit wet. Can't stand the rain. <laughs> it's a little wet, man, but I'm glad you made it out, dude. Yeah, Thanks man. for coming out, bro. Thanks for bringing out the Sequoia. Um, we've been doing like a Sequoia series on the on the tube right now, so yeah, we needed a first gen heavy, you know, and you are, if not the best, one first gen that I've seen around, yeah, so bro. we want to. Kind there's of deep no, diving there's in. There's no solid axle or long travel. <laughs> there's no three, the, the three link rear's not on there. No, so you're, not yet, not yet. No, you're good, bro. Um, if you don't mind, man, if you want to kind of go through, through a breakdown yeah. of uh, your rig, bro. So right. maybe from start uh, front to, to the rear. All right, cool. So this is a 2001 Toyota Sequoia four-wheel drive. Everything's custom fabricated. Uh, front, rear, everything, sides. Uh, front bumper, this is uh, custom fabricated by uh, Kenneth from Simple Fabrication, California. Nice. Um, he did a tube style, Baja style. Basically, he did it to where I could have a skip plate that runs all the way down that will house the uh, Factor 55 uh, accessories. So then I got a uh, rugged ridge, uh, 10,000 uh, pound winch. Baja Designs LP4s, uh, 2 white, 2 amber. Uh, all the lighting is Baja Designs down here too as well. Got the... Uh, uh, squadrons and the S2s. Nice. Right front uh, grill. It's all uh, fabricated from a uh, 2015 TRD Pro uh, Tacoma. Uh, I did all the plastic weld on it. So they yeah, came out uh, nice. Yeah, they said they, they sell these now. Uh, there's a couple companies uh, tech they make them. Uh, but when I first got the rig three years ago, there was probably like two other people that had it. Oh, wow. The only way to do it is fabricate yourself. I got custom uh, headlights, halos. Nice, LEDs. LEDs, yep, switchbacks. Um, yeah, as far as the rest of the armor goes, that's underneath. Bottom armor, it's all skid roll off-road. Uh, I got the transmission plate, and then I got the uh, oil pan uh, plate. Nice. Look down. I got the catalytic converter guards that goes with it. So that's all skid row off-road. So as far as the bumpers, it's quarter cuts. All these have been line X, the fender trims, front bumper, rear bumper, everything's line X. Nice. Got the dish light brackets from Ravel Fabrication, uh, XL Sports uh, for the dish lights. Uh, I got the S8 40 inch on top of the light bar. Uh, Sherpa Belford rack. Uh, running along, I got the Inspired Overland uh, uh, light uh, rooftop tent. Nice. Uh, Patrick from Roman Adventures uh, hooked me up with the, uh, the shower room and the uh, 180 awning. Um, connected to the, the stripper rack is a company called Joe's Equipment, uh, Original Equipment, uh, but those are the, uh, the molly panels from a, uh, a third gen 4Runner, I believe. Nice. Uh, mounted as all the uh, roto packs, uh, uh, pack boxes. I got the, uh, the new all black water, got the diesel for my diesel heater. And then the mounts are uh, the rotor tracks from rotor packs, and then locky mounts. So everything is all rotor packs. Damn, you fit that all in one mount? All in one mount, yep. <laughs> wow. Yep. I got the extensions on there too, the EXTs, uh, I believe they're called. Gotcha. Uh, with, the, with the locks. Uh, what else I got? Snorkel upgrade. I did a custom uh, uh, intake. So uh, that's from a 100 series Land Cruiser, and then I just modified it to fit, did all the uh, weather seals and everything. This is a 90 watt solar panel from uh, Lenson Solar. So this is directly uh, connected to my battery. So it charges, it has a uh, solar charge controller, so it doesn't top off. Nice. Um, I'm allowed to run a secondary battery off that too, so it'll charge one and then just keep one fully charged uh, to run like uh, my fridge or whatever I want. All right, so going on to the suspension, uh, I did a custom Fox DSC 2.5 mid travel kit, um, and it's matching front and rears. Uh, so for the front, I'm running uh, adjustable coils. Um, with a uh, resin mount that's been fabricated to the actual frame. Uh, a lot of guys run them up over here, but mm -hmm. I go on a lot of uh, uh, trails that I need the high, the high departure clearance. Uh, what else? I got Freedom Off-Road uh, Uniball upper control arms. 
uh, Gus of Spindles are from Total Chaos Fabrication. Uh, what else do I got? I got uh, matching cans. Uh, I got the matching Fox uh, IFP bump stops. Uh, solo Motorsports stock length lower control arms. Um, these are without the, they, they sell these with the lower ball joints. Okay. Uh, I, I, wanted, I wanted to do lower ball joints from uh, a factory. Um, and I just switch them out like every 50,000 miles. Yeah. Uh, usually life on them, uh, about 100,000 miles on a, on a regular truck that, that hits the streets. Yeah. So everything is half lifetime on this. Um, sure. I got high angle uh, CV boots. Those are from off-road uh, solutions. All the, all the wheel bearings have been replaced. Um, I did a custom GX460 big brake caliper kit. Nice. Um, it's milled down three millimeters, um, the wings. Um, shout out to uh, Jim Smola. Uh, he's the one who built some for the Sequoia, so great dude. Um, so yeah, so I uh, did the, the big brake caliper conversion and then I'm running uh, R1 Concepts, uh, cross drill slider rotors, E-line pads, and then uh, all front and rears has the uh, steel braided brake lines. Um, that way, you know, I'm in on the trail, I don't have to worry about any rubber hoses or anything like that. It's all steel braided, so. Nice. Um, what else do I got? Uh, Volks T37s. Um, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of JDM guys don't like the caps on them, but I like caps, so you guys, sorry. Uh, the, <laughs> spare, good. the spare doesn't have one, so at least I get a quarter credit. <laughs> um, don't worry about the lug nuts. I got a set of project kicks somewhere at uh, Jonathan's house. Uh, <laughs> you just gotta find them. Running uh, Cooper SST Pros uh, as far as tires. Um, they're uh, not a 235, they're about 34 and a, a quarter, but you know, close enough. Um, in the rears, you see uh, it's all custom fabricated again by Kenneth from Simple Fabrication. Uh, we did uh, uh, the DSC 2.5s from a 2010 uh, Sequoia. Mm -hmm. So they're second gen Sequoias, but they're shorter. That's three inches shorter. So we actually did an external um, uh, mount on the frame. I see, it, nice. And then uh, did a resin mount, uh, uh, mount as well. So fully adjustable. I'm running, I'm running bids right now, trying to, trying to soften up a little bit, but it's, mm -hmm. it's like day and night. Rock sliders, all custom, all custom fabricated as well. They're welded on, no bolt on. The rear was done again by uh, Kenneth Wolf from Simple Fabrication. Uh, it's all tube style as well. Uh, this one has a dual swing out, so I wanted everything to uh, kind of come out uh, as far as when I go out when I camp. Uh, so, you can so tube style, it's got a secondary uh, hitch mount. I got E3 machine latches, so two, two E3 machine latches. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I wanted to where I had a table. This is front runners. So a table for cooking gear. I can put my diesel heater on there. Sure. Um, but I wanted to uh, melt my propane for, for cooking and then my recovery gear for the Pro Eagle. I had a power tank before for, uh, for the air and then now uh, I switched everything to ARB twin. Uh, so I just have it mounted inside. Quick chuck and then two at a time. So it's easy to get to. Nice. Um, as far as the inside, uh, Molly panels and rack is from Raggle Fab. Uh, the rack is discontinued now, they don't make it anymore. So, sorry guys, don't ask me, it's not for sale. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, for all my gear, all my gear, all my furniture, I'm running front runner and Dometic. So, front runner chairs, front runner tables, Dometic stove, Dometic fridge. Uh, I got the water jug. So, everything is, is already prepped and ready to go. I can just jump in and and go off grid if I need to when the zombies come, so. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then having a spare tire for the fifth on a, on a separate swing out helps a lot too. I could put uh, my uh, propane water heater here uh, and then just run hot water if I need to take a shower. And like I said, the awning room is there. Uh, privacy for uh, my restroom or, or taking a shower. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much what I got so far. Um, there's some more parts coming. I, I, I got parts in the office that haven't been installed yet. Like I got a uh, APOC Industries full rear trailing arms. Uh, right now, all my all my factory bushings are shot, so I got to get those installed uh, pretty soon. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for yeah. now. You know, I, I, I go to the mall a lot, so <laughs> yeah, got to stay ready. That's cap, bro. I think you're the one. I, I know that actually goes out and camps like I try to. a million times a year, bro. So. I try to. In uh, my busy my busy schedule, I got a full uh, nine to five. I work sixty hour weeks. Uh, there and then uh, uh, I'm the owner and founder of uh, VIP Aesthetics too right, right. with the VIP stuff. So when I'm not with my kids, not juggling my crew, my team here out here in SoCal, um, going on trips or anything like that, I'm just, I'm grinding. 
So you're not going to catch me in the streets like the rest of my friends. <laughs> you know? I do. Stay busy. <laughs> stay busy. You got man. to. You got to. I sleep when I'm dead. I sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> Facts, bro. One more question for you, man. What's, you got, you got, what's your biggest trip coming up next? Uh, so the biggest trip right now, uh, if Jonathan uh, schedule uh, allows it, because uh, I always go with Jonathan on these long trips uh, every year, uh, right. we're going to head up to uh, the Pacific Northwest. Um, nice. We've done we've done Arizona and uh, the Grand Loop of uh, Utah three, four times already. Uh, been up to Colorado, did Ure, Tell Your Ride, all that. Um, but I think doing a Pacific Northwest trip is is definitely in the books to to experience, and especially like having the race to go wheel out there. Do the hiking and all that stuff too. Like that's Beautiful out this there, is bro. what we live for. So you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right on, man. You're more than welcome to come out. You bring your family out there too. No. Hey, open invite, y'all. You oh, hear yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got the starter pack. Well, oh, this. Oh, a lot, we forgot a lot of you guys are on this now, so you guys want this. We on tequila too. <laughs> but you know, I stay true to the starter pack. You know, it's a starter pack. Go right? chains and Hennessy and DJs. <laughs> you know, stay true to that. <laughs> hey, but you're really out there, though, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, sixty, bro. Gotcha, Appreciate bro. it, man. Always. All right, John. There you have it. Man, big shout out to 60 for coming out today, showing both of his whips. Uh, big shout out to Antspec and also to 714 Tires. Shout out to Jonathan for having us. And 60 also wanted to shout out Jonathan for all the work he did to his Sequoia. Be sure to check him out on Instagram. I'll link all their links below. Be sure to check out 60 and also his VIP Aesthetics brand. As you can see, he makes quality work if you have a VIP car. Um, tables, floor mats, interior, anything interior wise, he can do. So be sure to haul him for that. Other than that, that should be it for today. So we'll see you on the next episode. Yay!